it's great to see everyone here today. I haven't seen many of you for quite a while, and good to see your faces. In fact, like my mom, I go around and kiss all of you. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> most, most of you know that uh, I've not had large number of teams, and I've tried to sell to the kids that it's not quantity, it's quality. And as they're going back past the bench with their tongues hanging out, sometimes, what was that being coach? But um, there are several years that we played. We had uh, seven one year, so I had these t-shirts <laughs> made just, just to get in their head, you know, it's, you're awesome, you know, it's, it's just quality. And there was one year we beat uh, Briar Cliff with six players, so I was used to these small numbers. If you look at some of these national tournament pictures, the first one, we had nine. Coach Pobel and our student manager had to take turns subbing in so we could practice. <laughs> so this year I told my new assistant, Dave Ziggler, we, we need some bodies, we need some kids. And uh, I gave him the task and he, he did it pretty well. <laughs> yeah. we, we've got uh, 17 on the roster, four are red-shirted, and uh, two of those are junior volleyball players, and uh, two are freshmen. So. Um, We've got some numbers out there. In fact, the other night I was looking at my bench, and oh my god, I need a card filing system to figure out who I'm going to play. And I was breaking out in hives. I, I just, you know, you're not used to them. And nine of them are freshmen, and they're just fresh faces and uh, good kids, um, more athletic than we've had in the past. So I, I think uh, we've got the right direction going on. We've got. Uh, um, workouts going during the week where uh, you know, get kids coming from all over the country from Oregon to Ohio and in between and everybody's had a different coach they have a different way of doing things so it's, right now it's just getting everybody on the same page we played up uh, in uh, Montana against uh, Montana Tech and Great Falls after nine practices we'll be doing that again <laughs> The first game didn't even resemble a basketball game. And we got better the second night, which was a good thing. So we really didn't know what to expect playing a, a D2 team. Carney, you know, it's kind of known as for their athletics. And <coughs> just kind of drive it without a steering wheel. You just go out and get after it. And, and they did. I was, I was very pleased with the output that we saw. Um, after watching the tape, it wasn't as good as we thought. It was. <laughs> It's a win. <laughs> so we're excited about that. Um, we're going up to Aberdeen this weekend. Uh, we gave Fred a hard rocker welcome, welcome last fall. Uh, he beat by, I think it was 23 points or something. So I'm sure he's got that start in his calendar, and there's a reason we're playing them first. <laughs> so it'll be fun. It's my alma mater, and it'll be fun to get back and see some of the people in Aberdeen, they're, they're very loving, they're very athletic town, and so I'm sure there'll be a good turnout. I think they're third in the nation as far as attendance, so um, it'll be good. The next night, our opponent is Mankato State, and they just happened to have won the national tournament three years ago, so. Now I'm trying to convince the kids, it doesn't matter who comes on that court, we're gonna take them. And, those of you that know me, that's my mentality. I don't care. Step on the court, let's go. And uh, freshmen are kind of buying into this. So that's a good thing. Uh, I started three se or three, two seniors and three freshmen the other night. And uh, they seem to work pretty well together and coming off the bench. Uh, right now, we don't really have demarcations. It doesn't fall off quite as drastic as most years. But um, it should be fun. Um, I think Brad's got, we'll introduce some of these kids. This is Devin Ashey. Her dad actually played one semester here. And uh, scholarships weren't that great. He had to go back to the ranch. But uh, he's, he was a big guy and found out that she, she was really wanting to go to Montana State. And they were, oh, we got this scholarship, got this scholarship for you. And you know how they drag you on. And then they gave it to somebody else. So she was kind of, she, she's a good one. She's going to be very good for us. Brianne Huggins came from Canby, Oregon. Um, this was a late find for us. 
Um, I've been trying to tap into Washington, Oregon, because I thought we were going to be in that conference. But um, as it turns out, I guess they don't want us either. But we're, we're trying yet. Anyway, I found her, and uh, she's a nice addition, just very uh, athletic. She's had six years of ballet, though, so she has some of her problems. <laughs> very pretty. <laughs> Jess Shaw was our first accomplishment as far as recruiting last year. Her team um, won the 5A title in Iowa and were runners up the year before. So she's played with a lot of new one kids. Um, got a nice wingspan and loves defense. So green well flying. That's one of uh, the mechanicals pride and joys. Jordan Edens. Came from uh, Colorado last year, and uh, she was their post player. We had to move her to the perimeter, and so she's working on that. But she tore ACL last year, and just making a, a comeback now. Um, kind of slow, but uh, that process is slow. Emily Stickney was another of my finds from watching internet video um, games played. A lot of the state tournaments have their games at the web now, so recruiting has changed markedly. And, uh, she also had a desire to run cross country, so she's doing that, and we registered her this year because we learned so much of our set plays and our offense, defense in the month of October, so she missed a little bit of running. And a great kid, just phenomenal kid. All these kids are very, very bright, and we don't talk too much about academics because Dave and I are afraid to go that route, but they're, they're good kids. Um, This is one of our seniors, Katie Stramlin, who's got engaged. So she's on cloud nine, and just like she's ready to have a good year. She works very, very hard, um, slight and frame, and uh, great attitude. She's in getting the extra shots in, and got the fiance working on our scout team. So we got two for one there. Karina Russell is another of, uh, mechanical engineering. She's out of uh, team that got runners up at the state at the 5A down in Nebraska. So she's got some great um, history behind her and played on teams with D1 players. Um, she's got uh, celiac disease and two nights ago before our big game she had to have Doritos. So of course that kind of set her into a tailspin. But she, she'll, she'll get better. She's a feisty little thing and uh, She's got a great shot. We'd like to play her more in the two guard, but uh, she's going to handle, I think, the uh, backup point guard right now. Lexi Long, she's a little spark plug, isn't she? She's adept at both hands. Uh, she scored over 2,000 points in her high school career. And uh, just a super kid. You tell her what to do, it, and it's done. And, you know, if she's a couple of inches taller, we wouldn't have had her. But uh, Dave, with his networking over in Minnesota, we, we got her, and we're very pleased to have her. Alex Mater uh, played a year and uh, took off. She decided she wanted to be an engineer. Well, then she came back. She wanted to be an engineer. And she uh, was trying to get on the same page now, very uh, aggressive defensively, and would help us a lot. But she was sitting out the other night. Uh, she's got some tendonitis in her platella. And so we're trying to get that calmed down so she can play some games up here. But she, she works it very hard defensively. Uh, those of you that are South Dakota people might know of the Shahneman twins. We've got Kelsey and Kayla out of Aberdeen. Um, they've got uh, ni nice athletic frames. Uh, Kayla were red sharing. She got a concussion last spring in high school and still having some symptoms. And so we're not messing with that. We're just you know, trying to get her symptom free before we put her in the, the contact stuff. Uh, but Kelsey's going to help us out in the post position. In fact, I probably should have got her in the other night. But again, the card file wasn't really working the best for me right now. And assist, oh, we don't have, okay. Anyway, that's one of the twins. You'll see the other one coming up. Mackenzie is the one from Ohio, plays post position. And uh, her dad actually played in, at uh, Dakota Westland, so he knew of the school and contacted me because she wanted civil engineering. So it's not bad to be an old fossil. <laughs> Hillary 
See that smile? That's what you get all the time with Hillary. She's just a, a great kid. It's one of the best breakfasts I ever had was when I recruited her. She was out of Elizabeth, Colorado. Um, chose not to play up at the neighboring town, Chaparral Hayden High School. And it's a good thing because she she can shoot, and I think she was on the, the radar of some people, but not the bigger ups. And so, so we got her, and she's just about ready to break the school record for three pointers. And I'll bet she has a smile on her. She has it. Renee Waters, another Colorado kid. Um, her team won the, the state four or five years, um, all four years when she was in high school, and uh, needed to work on some things, and she did that over the summer. She's gotten a lot better, and uh, mentally, I uh, had the triplets. I had Janelle Strampy, Justine Blade, and um, Renee, and it, seriously, they looked like triplets, and then I'd call them, go in for so-and-so. Ooh, what the triplets? Just go. <laughs> so they, they just kind of knew they interchanged with each other. <coughs> Olivia, I think you'll see a lot of Olivia. She's a uh, very um, well built, very strong lady. Um, believe it or not, she's very adept at shooting the three. And we had hopes of playing her outside, but she's so good inside, good rebounder, can feel her way around the lane. Uh, she's going to do well for her. She was our leading scorer the other night after not playing for a week. Um, she hyperextended her knee. And so, no, there's a reason we have 17 now. Look at that smile. Yeah, she's a beauty queen. She's just finishing up um, the volleyball, and she's so athletic. Um, she was a big part in our defensive scheme last year. So we will miss her out in the court, but she'll be there with that smile. There's the other twin, Kayla. She's the one with the concussion. Great stroke. She's going to be a good shooter for us. We get a little more speed to her shot, get her butt down so she's ready to shoot. She'll be good. Justine, I think you know Justine, uh, very good volleyball and basketball, and uh, we'll miss her out there on the court, that long body and adept at being able to shoot. Um, but they're, they're good big sisters, so they're going to be there for the little ones and banging around in practice. So. And that's it. Those are my kids. I think you'll really like them, and again, we can do the adoptive uh, rocker thing. You can just have them to your house occasionally for a meal, that's about it. Give them a pat on the back, which is, you know, if there's out-of-state kids, that'd be, that'd be good. Okay, thank you very much.